United States. They're used where there's a need to minimize air loss while transferring material between vessels with differing pressures. The rotary valve has four main components. The housing, the head plates, the rotor, and the drive arrangement. There are three basic application types. Metering and feeding, airlock, airlock feeder. Metering feeding is where the valve is not responsible for air pressure sealing, but only metering material at a set fixed rate. As the vanes rotate, material enters through the top into the pockets, and then exits through the bottom outlet to a bin, conveyor, or other device. The airlock provides a seal between two pressure zones above and below the valve. These can be positive, negative, or sometimes both. The primary concern is handling the pressure differential and minimizing leakage. There are two types of valve leakage. The first is clearance leakage, which occurs around the perimeter of the valve. The second is displacement leakage, which is the air that is trapped in the empty rotor pockets. Clearance leakage plus displacement leakage equals total leakage. Some of the ways to minimize valve leakage includes increase the number of vanes on the rotor from 6 to 8 or even 10. Install contact type seal strips like polyurethane, neoprene, or Teflon. Provide tighter rotor vane clearance. The airlock feeder combines the functionality of a metering feeder and an airlock. In addition to the airlock options shown, the following could also be applied. Rotor selections and type materials of construction, rotary valve speed, shaft purge options. To ensure that your rotary valve operates smoothly, 